Wednesday and um, a lot of you guys have been asking where I've been um, I get, I'm getting a lot of questions on my snapchat on Instagram and just in my comments saying you know where are you here where's your vlogs where's your videos at da, 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 da. so I thought I would just explain that to you guys right now pretty much um, yeah I probably didn't post for about two weeks and uh, let me just explain why so first of all my camera is like messed up if i could show you guys it i would but yeah my camera is messed up um i actually have two cameras but the other camera is with my cousin he still has to bring it to me and then the camera that i have now is messed up i gotta go bring it in it still works but i just it, the screen doesn't flip out and then i don't know if i'm focused because the canon camera already this this g7x already messes up just like it doesn't focus properly so anyways that's not even the main reason the main reason is that before I left um, Brian's house or whatever, like I was with him for like two days and I didn't vlog any of that just because I only had so long left with him and I didn't want to just pull out a camera. I wanted to really enjoy the moments within the last few, you know, moments I had with him because I really don't know the next time I'm going to see him, to be honest. Um, so I was just soaking up those moments and then... When I came home, I really just wanted to spend time with my family and my friends without putting a camera in their face and my face because I haven't seen them. I was literally in the States for almost two months, so like I've been away for two months, so I just didn't want to come home and be like vlogging and everything. I just wanted to like literally just enjoy their presence, you know, and just relax and chill with them um, without having a camera. <laughs> So those are pretty much the main reasons why um, I'm in MIA. I just didn't feel like, I honestly just didn't feel like picking up a camera and vlogging in my life. But I'm back. Um, another thing is that I just I just had been chilling. Like I just got home trying to get back into the groove of things, you know, coming from, you know, Brian's house where there's so much space. It's coming back here where there's just so many people around, not a lot of space, everything's cramped like this so I just really had to adjust <laughs> so uh, I think I'm gonna be back now posting Mondays and Fridays another thing is that I had to get my taxes in order um, I just recently gave my tax guy all of my stuff I had to add everything up luckily like every time I get paid I write it down like I write everything I got paid down I have one credit card where I do all of my business transactions so that was kind of easy just to put everything together I did have to break it up into categories for him which didn't take too too long yeah so with that I'm just kind of stressing because I'm not sure if Okay, so my goal, obviously, if you guys watch my chit chat gallery with me, my goal is to obviously own a investment property or just own like property that's mine, like either rent it out or just own it and actually me live there, you know. So I'm just nervous that that I'm not gonna get the loan that I want in order to get a house. I made a lot of money this year. I'm gonna owe hella hella money back in taxes. Like I don't even want to know how much. It's gonna be a lot though um but i already saved up for that like i already knew i was gonna have to pay back i didn't do quarterly which i should have done but i didn't so i've been saving a lot of money for that knowing that i'm gonna have to pay <laughs> so much money back um but you know my tax guy is gonna work it out for me he's gonna, he gonna work it out for me my worry is that i'm not gonna get the loan i want because you might have to i might have to um show history of me having or making a good income which I did last year but I didn't tell the guy to do it the way that I wanted to do it so I can get what I wanted out of it is what I mean so I hope that this year will suffice everything and that I can move forward because if I don't like I'm gonna be so sad because that means another one of my goals are gonna be like on the back burner I'm gonna be set back again and I personally don't want to rent in Toronto like you're literally gonna live in a box and pay like 17, 1800 
16 to like $1,800 a month or even more than that. And I don't want to spend that money. Like if I lived in Houston or Dallas or somewhere where it's like you can get, you could pay $800, $700 and like have two bedrooms, like 1,500 square feet, whatever it is, like I would totally be down to rent and do that for the moment. But in Toronto, it just, I, it doesn't make sense to me. It just doesn't make sense. So like I'm praying that once I fill out my taxes, I can get this on and popping. So yeah, I just been kind of stressing over that. And that's pretty much it. Like literally all I've been doing is chilling with my family, my friends, and just relaxing and just trying to really get back into the groove of things. Like I, honestly, coming back here, it just messes me up. So I have to get back into the mood and the mode. I did record some videos, um, but it, it wasn't for YouTube. It was for um, Instagram. Cause I, like I said, if I'm not on YouTube, I'm working somewhere else, like Instagram or something like that. Um, and Instagram is where it's at right now. That's where the money's at. And yeah, but yeah, I'm actually going to be putting some extensions in my hair. I'm going to my friend's house. She's going to put extensions in my hair. I know you guys are going to be like, you don't need extensions. You don't need extensions. I know I don't, but I want them. Um, I really want to see how my hair is going to look thicker and longer like I want like hair all the way down to like my booty that's what I want definitely inspired by my girl um Amber Martin like I love when she puts in like her I think I don't know if it's weave or if it's extensions or whatever but like her hair is like all the way down to her ass and I really like that look so that's what I'm going for that's who I'm inspired by so I'm about to head over there and uh, you guys will probably see it before everyone else on my main channel. So yeah, I just want to update you guys. And uh, I'm going to see you guys all later. Hey y'all, what's up? So I did not finish the rest of my vlog yesterday. Um, I didn't show myself getting my little extensions in. I look hella dusty right now because I have bear powder all over my face. But after I spray it down and add the color back and everything like that, um, it's going to look better but this is just the starting step. So yeah, I'm actually getting ready because I'm going out with Shanique today. We are headed downtown. We're gonna go to Cactus Club. We're doing one thing that we like to do the most, which is eat. So yeah, <laughs> we're gonna go eat some food and obviously catch up. Um, yeah, we pretty much like hang out. We try to hang out like at least maybe like once every two months or so, something like that, just to catch up on life. So that's what we're about to do. I'm late as usual. I told her yesterday, I told her the other day, at two o'clock it's two o'clock right now so i'm like four o'clock um i wasn't gonna go earlier because it was raining but i'm like let me get out the house um it stopped raining right now it got brighter and everything so i feel better when it was gloomy before i'm like no i don't want to go anywhere so <laughs> yeah anyways let me get to this i look crazy with this i have a scarf on and i have a bonnet but yeah it's doing what it has to do for my hair <laughs> okay guys so i'm on my way Cause it's cheaper I, like to do uber pool is like 19 dollars and then to do like a regular uber it's i think it was like almost 30 dollars so might as well save money and it was crazy because when i did my taxes i added up all my uber costs and it was literally only probably about like 600 700 dollars and that was even from me going to different countries and things like that so like me having a car right now because i'm never really here is not worth it to me at all if i could just pay 700 dollars a year in uber and go wherever i want so yeah if you guys are interested in using my uber code i will leave it right here so you guys can get a free ride or some money off and i'll also get some money off as well but yeah so we are headed to the cactus club well me by myself in the car um yeah i might have another visitor coming um, another person but it's all good we gonna make it to the destination <laughs> so i'm gonna see you guys when we get there made it and Shanique is still in the uber and she told me i was gonna be the one no she said she was gonna be the one waiting on me but now i'm waiting on her 10 minutes okay but it's whatever so i'm at cactus club right now so i'm probably just gonna get a seat for us and yeah i know you're 
husband. Hey, Meek. Hi. <laughs> we are going to the rooftop. I haven't been to the rooftop at Cactus Club before. And I've been here like probably only three times. With me, every time. No. No? Oh, it's cute. What is he doing? Yeah, it is. This is cute. I don't know. They said, I like this. They have like heat, heat up here and everything. It's warm. Hog life. So this is my food, it looks so bomb. I got glazed salmon, comes with tomato, salad, I think like a mango salsa, cauliflower, some jasmine rice, quinoa, this looks so freaking bomb. And Shani got her basic, what we always get, or what she always gets, um, Creo chicken with asparagus and mashed potatoes. Yummy, and she got a salad. All right, y'all, so we just left Cactus Club. The food was delicious, but now we're in Eaton Square Mall. I haven't been here since, Square. Wait, what is it called? Eaton Center. Oh, shit. Eaton Center, but I haven't been here since um, Brian was here, which was like all the way in January. So, ooh, do they have a sale with them? Sorry. Yeah, I need to get some underwear. I want underwear. Oh, oh, oh. I'm actually, I, I wear their oh, push-up bra. It actually works. Look. <laughs> Hold on, this girl said she was washing my boobs because I'm wearing the, the Sendra. Normally they don't look like that. Wow. They don't. I barely ever wear bras like that. I wear, usually like wear a random bra, but their push-up bras are really, really good. Bras are so expensive. They are. I, I paid like, I got this color and I got new. And it was like a lot of money. Like, hundred something dollars. Hey okay, y'all, so I just got a bunch of panties. I can't decide which ones I want. I think it's 8 for 30 right now, but I think I'm gonna get 16. Because I just have so many. So, I don't know. This could be good. No, no, no. They're fine. So like, clearly I'm obsessed with like patterns right here. And the Lestenza band, like I'm just obsessed with that. It's okay, one, two, three. Okay, y'all, Change Room Chronicles. I'm in Forever 21, and I just tried on these shorts, and I don't like them. They're just like so plain. Nah, it's a no. Okay, so these yellow ones, I think these are cute. They're better than the green. It's a no to the yellow? I'm debating. I kind of like them. I don't know, maybe the yellow. Okay y'all, so I just tried this on. I really like the style of this. It's giving me like very like, I'm from Cuba or like, you know, type vibes. But it's just way too small. Like, look at my crotch. I'm giving you guys like freaking camel toe vibes. 
so I'm gonna see if I can get a medium and if that fits better then I'll probably get this out of all the things because I can see myself wearing this on vacation so, yeah. I wish I had hips though, you know, but I like that it has pockets so it gives you like an illusion, sort of. But Shanique went to go get me a size medium. Okay, y'all, so I just tried on this dress and I think this is gonna be a winner. Um, I like it. Look at my booty though. But yeah, Shanique says she likes it too. It's not that tight, like all the way down, which is not too bad. So I can like you know move it in and everything. I think it's cute and like with a pair of like my Zans or something, it'll look super cute. All right, y'all. So as you can see, Shanique has me spending my money. No, she has me spending my money. I bought a dress from Forever 21, which you guys I think seen earlier. But and now she got me getting some ice cream. Oh, and so I'm, that's who you're talking to in the change room. I'm like, why should I talk to yourself? <laughs> yeah, I was talking to myself. But yeah, so I got a chocolate ice cream with sprinkles and, and I got cookies and cream, the best ever. Yeah, cookies and cream is pretty good, but it can't be the classic. This is a classic for me, you know. When the ice cream truck comes around, this is what I usually get. So yeah, I think we're gonna go check around some other stores. I wanna get like sandals that are like super diverse and that I can wear with like almost every single outfit. And I think Shanique just really wanted me to come to the mall so I can spend money and so she can. I'm just kidding. Okay, y'all, so we're in H&M right now, and there's like a modeling going on. I missed it. Oh, it's coming up for Work, 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 work. Shanique, you should totally get in that. <laughs> oh, we got a next girl. Okay. Work, honey. <laughs> yes, girl. Love my city. It's so beautiful at night. So beautiful. But yeah, we are about to go home. Calling the Uber. Sneaks having trouble with her direction. <laughs> what? Not direction. I know. If the Uber, the Uber um, app is giving her like the wrong area. Yeah, it's giving her a hard time. But let's go home. I just made it home. I'm actually super tired, but I'm gonna make myself some tea. I did want to show you guys something that I got. Um, I didn't get to show you guys that I got my Vans. So I did, when we went to the mall, I picked up Vans. Um, I got a new pair of white Vans because, you know, it's spring's coming, um, you know, summer's coming. Gotta get a fresh pair of white shoes. So I got me these, and the Vans are just super comfortable and they go with everything. So yeah, I picked that up. Um, of course, I got my panties. 16 pairs. I'm so excited. Just gotta wash them now. Um, comment down below. Do you wash your panties before you put them on? Because I'm sure that there's some people out there who are like, ooh, I got new panties. Um, let's just wear them. So, yeah. Um, I ended up getting a new lens for my Sony camera. And you guys probably didn't even know I had a Sony camera. I've had this camera for about like maybe three years, like since it first came out. But I was give, I gave it to Bonds um, for her to use because I didn't really like the camera. Um, let me show you guys. I don't like. I really. I'm not a fan of the the Sony. Is it the A series? The A6 6100 or 5100? The 5000. Like I had the 5000 as well. Do I still have that? I think I still actually have the body of the camera, but I don't have, oh my God. I might actually have the body and I could put the lens 
the, oh, okay sorry <laughs> so yeah i had the 5000 and the lens broke on that like on me it broke on me literally like three times so i was like just forget this camera <laughs> so i didn't get that and then it was so terrible in low lighting it's horrible low lighting the battery is not good um that's just why that's the main reason why i don't like sony cameras but anyway so when the 6000 came out i got the 6000 the only thing about this camera is that it doesn't flip up it doesn't have like a flip up screen which i don't really care for because i didn't get this for vlogging i got this mainly because i wanted it to take really good pictures and the sony cameras are pretty good at taking pictures however i had the kit lens let me get the kit lens Let me put on this light yeah so i had this kit lens right here and this kit lens is not good at all like it's it's not bad but it's not amazing so like in low lighting it's not good because i think the f-stop on it is let's see what it says yeah it's 3.5 so that means in low lighting it's not good um so yeah for like Two, two years Tavon Bonds had this camera but now I got this new baby and the f-stop on it is this is the 35 millimeter and the f-stop on it is 1.8 which is actually really really good so you can get a lot of light in um, so I'm so excited I think this is gonna be like my new travel camera along with this camera that I'm using right now this is gonna be my vlog camera and then this is gonna be my picture camera because um, because sometimes like I don't want to bring my huge ass Canon camera with me to take my photos especially like when I'm at the beach or just you know when I'm just traveling around so I'm like I want a more compact camera and this is way smaller so I'm super excited to try this out especially because my bad my camera shut off on me right out of space but yeah this is gonna be the perfect camera to travel with I'm gonna bring it to me when I'm gonna bring it with me when I go to Trinidad and Tobago when I go to Dominican when I go to Miami when I go to Asia in November like this is going to be the it camera like it's so cute now like I actually like how it looks with the lens hood on it and everything and it takes awesome pictures like I wish I could show you guys the only thing about this is that it doesn't zoom so i would still carry around like the kit lens with it but i don't really care that it doesn't zoom to be honest because i'm not using it for vlogging or anything like that so i'll have to do a step back or step closer if i need to but yeah i think i'm gonna end the vlog here i'm super super tired i'm gonna make myself some tea and start editing this video but like i said i'm back and i'm better tomorrow is shantae's birthday so you guys can all wish her a happy birthday in the comment section and i'll sh let her know that you guys have shown her all the love i'll show her all the comments and everything we are going out for a birthday tomorrow to dinner and we're also going to this place called apartment 200 or yeah apartment 200 so i'm gonna try to vlog that as well so yeah hopefully um you guys are all having a blessed day and i hope you guys have a blessed weekend and i'll see you guys all in the next one deuces